there is one area that these systems really haven't tapped. Tell us what it is. Well, we first started looking at it when Harry Stilley, who uh, is at a think tank in South Carolina, brought some data to our attention showing us that a lot of students um, are either not completing their studies at all or taking a lot longer to graduate than we expect of them. And for every extra semester that a student is in college, that's extra money that the state is funneling towards their towards their edu- education. Because we think of the university system, at least um, I do, as, well, you're getting a, quote, four-year degree. But it's right. not four years for a lot of these no, folks. No. In fact, I think thinking of it in the four-year degree uh, terms, I mean, we, we still use that. But the reality now is more like five or six years for a lot of students. Do we have any way of trying to quantify how much it is costing states or costing North Carolina to continue to fund students, the same student who's continuing to go on in a fifth or a sixth year to try to get a degree? Right. Um, It's hard to really put it in terms from for the whole state but for the for one student for one semester it can be anywhere from you know five thousand to fifteen thousand dollars extra that the state is putting into that education for now, just spending an extra semester in school that's a lot of money so as, as you and your colleague Jay Shallon looked at all this um, and looking at this uh, professor from South Carolina are you recommending that states stop funding after four years? We're not recommending that they stop funding, but we're recommending that they start finding ways to make sure that students graduate on time, particularly the students who they think they're going to graduate anyway. Let's try to get them out a little bit faster.